to a CD update here on Metal Bent Chronicles from the Metal Bent Mobile. How about it? Well, we're going to get right into this. Um, pretty much some CDs I've acquired over the last month or so. You know, two of them I just got in the mail today. So we're going to get right into it. We're not going to waste too much time here. So let's begin. We're going to start off with the No Life Till Metal CDs that I got today. Well, one of them I got today, I should say. Um, you know, Scott Waters record label. You know, part of Rock's Records too, I guess. But yeah, we got From the Ruins with their debut EP, Into Chaos. Yep, that's what the cover looks like right there. You know, pretty cool stuff. But yeah, really cool artwork too, you know, by Scott Waters. I'm assuming he's the one that has done all the artwork here. You know, really good thrash metal right here. I mean, it's got more of that melodic thrash metal vibe to it. You know, yeah, it's got the aggressiveness of like maybe some Slayer or... Death Angel or Exodus, but mixed with, you know, the more melodic side, too, of, like, maybe a metal church or something like that, you know. Pretty darn good debut EP. I can't wait to hear more stuff from this band. From the Ruin. From the Ruins, yes. Up next, also from No Life Toll Metal. Yeah, <laughs> tongue twister there no life till metal records we got hellbender with american nightmare their debut album they did have an ep out before this this is some brutal stuff right here if you're into like brutal exodus i'm talking like shovel-headed kill machine exhibit a exhibit b you know that exodus with rob dukes you'll be into this it's got a mixture of some Pantera in there, too, and I can hear a little bit of Hatebreed. So it definitely has that aggressive thrash mixed with hardcore vibe going on. Really, really good debut. Definitely an angry-sounding album, you know. Okay, up next, we got some Mortification. You know, I've been meaning to get some Mortification back in my collection. I did have a few Mortifications, you know, at one point or another. But... We got this Metal Mind Productions reissue of Blood World. Before I go into that, I... See, sometimes I forget to do this. Right there's what the CD looks like. You know. Got the band right there. For, uh... Hellbender. Okay, moving on. So, yeah, we got this Mortification. Nothing fancy with the CD, though. But we got Blood World... Yeah, released on Metal Mind Productions. This, this originally came out in 1994. It was the very first Mortification album I ever heard back then. I got this back in 94 when it came out. I just thought the album cover looked cool when I first saw it and bought it. Anyways, this has bonus stuff on it too. So, you know, you get some extra bonus tracks and, you know, you get the standard Blood World album. To me, it's a good album. Some people don't like it. It was their biggest selling album, though. Up next, we got their 1998 album, Triumph of Mercy, which they sent me two copies of this. And this was kind of a comeback album because at this time, Steve Rowe was, you know, Steve Rowe of Mortification, the bassist lead vocalist was suffering from leukemia and it almost took his life in fact he actually only had a one percent a one percent chance to live you know because of leukemia that's how serious it was and he wrote the song triumph of mercy on his hospital bed yeah but this is a really really good album i think now, it's probably not his best album, or it's not the best Mortification album, but I think it's good for what it is, you know. Some might not like it. Because after um, 
Skrull to the Megaloth mortification kind of went in more of a thrash metal, maybe a little bit of a hardcore direction mixed with some power metal, you know. And we got the follow-up to Triumph of Mercy from 1999. This is a Metal Mind production reissue also. Hammer of the God. Hammer of God, excuse me. Hammer of God. Really, really good album. This one definitely has more of a power metal vibe going. Mixed with a thrash metal vibe. Not very many death metal vocals on here. If any, I don't think there's any on this album, but it's a good album. Again, it's got bonus stuff on here, you know. Pretty good. Okay. I finally acquired this. This one came out last fall. But yeah. So we got Mourn the Southern Skies by... Exhorter. Yes, the Comeback Exhorter album. Trying to get that glare out of there. The best I can. You know, right there. I'll tell you what, man. I was going to show you this. That really upsets me, man, when these CD cases are so brittle so I'm definitely gonna have to replace it but anyways yeah that's Exhorter apologize for it falling apart on me definitely gonna have to replace that case now and I just got the CD too you know but anyways like I said very good comeback album I'd say this one's probably less thrashy it's got more of a groove to it and it's got a bit of that southern tins going on too you know a bit of that southern metal type of sound that especially near the end of the album really good up next i rebought this one this one actually came in the mail today exhibit b the human condition by exodus from 2010 final album with rob dukes this is a very brutal thrash album it's just straight up in your face you know and that's what I'm listening to in the background right now. So, you know, you're not going to see the CD. Good thrash album. I know some people don't like the Rob Dukes era. I mean, me, honestly, I, you know, I'd say probably Zetro is my favorite vocalist. I mean, because Paul Bailoff was only on one Exodus album, but you know. Okay, up next, we got Evil Dead with their second album. The Underworld. Now this album does not get talked about as much. Usually when people talk about Evil Dead, it's their debut album. Annihilation of Civilization, you know, from 1989. This one came out in 1991. Now this is a Spanish reissue. It's uh, Pacheco Records, Pacheco Records, however you pronounce it. It's a reissue from 2014. I know when I pop it in my CD player, the song titles come up in Spanish. But man, it's still really cool to have this. I mean, this is a phenomenal album that definitely needs more recognition. This is a very good album. I think it's equally as good as your debut album. Really cool stuff right there. Yeah. Just phenomenal thrash metal, a tremendous cover of He's a Woman, She's a Man from the Scorpions. Last but not least, now y'all know about that crappy band, that crappy alternative metal band, Incubus. Well, I'm going to show you the real Incubus, the thrash death metal Incubus. Came out in 1988. Serpent Temptation, yes, Serpent Temptation, their debut album. You know, nothing really to show here. A bunch of band photos there. I kind of forget what co they call those sleeves. Kind of looks like a miniature vinyl. You know, band photos on the back. 
This one came out on Brutal Records. Does not say a year on the back, but I know the original pressing is from 1988. Really, really good stuff here, guys. Some brutal stuff from the time. Plenty of blast beats, plenty of just killer thrash rips. That's it for this video. For this update video, yes. I do need to make my comeback. Not that I really went nowhere, but I need to start dishing out more videos again. We were on a roll back in April and May when I was dishing out those videos. We were starting to gain a lot of subscribers that I decided to take a bit of a break just because I felt burned out with the internet. Just absolutely burned out with it. I mean, I did put up a video here and there, but it's time to make a comeback. I mean, because next month, on August 18th, it's going to be two, or it's going to be one year. It's going to be the one year anniversary for this channel, the relaunch of this channel, that is. And man, I would love to get to 200 subscribers by August 18th, if that's popular. If that's popular. If that's possible, excuse me there. So yeah, definitely check these videos out. Hit that bell man hit the notification bell man check these videos out you know that's something else we all need to do again we all need to start supporting each other on here again you know anyways that's it for this video this update video yes we got more stuff coming there's gonna be an exodus album ranking video there's gonna be an exhorter album ranking video so stay tuned for that and keep it metal.